BlackBerry released its quarterly earnings Thursday, and as Business Insider points out, they were just as bad as everyone thought they would be. Or worse. $1.6 billion in revenue was far below the $3 billion analysts had predicted and represented a 49% decline from the first quarter of 2013. The Canadian phone maker took an operating loss of $965 million in the second fiscal quarter alone. Most of that write-off was thanks to an overstock of Z10 model smartphones, which never sold in the numbers BlackBerry had hoped they would. The company shipped just 3.7 million phones total in the quarter, and most of them were an older model to boot. CEO Thorsten Hines acknowledged disappointing performance, but said the company is refocusing to be as efficient as possible. We understand how some of the activities we are going through create uncertainty, but we remain a financially strong company with $2.6 billion in cash and no debt. That said, BlackBerry is looking more and more poisonous as time goes on. Progress will come at a cost both inside the company, where BlackBerry announced plans to cut 4,500 workers in a bid for efficiency, and outside, where Jable Circuit, BlackBerry's longtime manufacturing partner, reportedly wants out. All Things D suggests the chipmaker is willing to incur restructuring charges and layoffs of its own, if that's what it takes. Meanwhile, in developments that aren't even so much Good news as simply things going according to plan, BlackBerry has signed letters of intent to sell itself to majority shareholder Fairfax Financial for $4.7 billion. When the deal closes, BlackBerry will be a privately held company. The Washington Post reports shareholders will receive payments at about $9 a share. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman.